Welcome to Tello Youth Webinar. This is Life-Changing Wellness Wednesday Call. We have Dr. Tina Johnson and Dr. Chris Morris with us today. They are internationally renowned educators, speakers, naturopathic practitioners, and the formulators of our life-changing products, Tello Youth and Surian. Good morning, Dr. Chris and Dr. Tina. Good morning, Bernard. Good morning, everyone. And good morning, Dr. Tina. Hey, good morning, Dr. Chris and Bernard and everyone on the line. Great to have you all on today. Uh, welcome to our Wellness Wednesday webinar. And this format is for you. So we hope that you bring all of your um, life-changing stories, whether you think it's a big deal or not, please tell us any changes that you are having physically, emotionally, mentally while taking telehealth. And it's also for us to be able to answer questions. Uh, today, we're going to cover some of our technology here a little bit. And one ingredient that we're going to focus on today and highlight is our fertilized tissue extract. Dr. Chris, do you have anything to say before we jump in here? No, let's get into the movies. All right. Well, first of all, um, I do want to bring this up. This is the brochure and you, you do have this available in your library in the back office. And this particular page, we talk about the foundational technology and the FTE is what we're going to be discussing today and just how powerful it is and how it's truly advanced and so far along in the rejuvenation technology and how we're able to get this from an incredible, highly concentrated whole food source. And that's really important because we can't even measure all of the amazing peptides and signaling that it does. We do know it works. Um, and some of the studies are showing that as well. So in 1929, Dr. John Davidson, um, he discovered the fertilized tissue extract. And this uh, is the fertilized egg white from a hen egg. And he did many studies. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you a clip that actually um, showcases his technology. So let me grab that for a moment. Okay, can you guys see my screen? Yes, coming in good. Tonight we have a story about a controversial treatment for cancer invented by a Winnipeg doctor. It's not new. In fact, Dr. John Davidson used it on hundreds of patients decades ago. What is new is that some 50 years after the doctor's death, more than half a century after his theories were dismissed as quackery, scientists are rekindling the flame of his research. With more on the legendary cancer doctor, here's CTV's medical specialist, Avis Favreau. His name was John Ralston Davidson, a respected family doctor in Winnipeg in the early 1900s a great scientist, as well as a great doctor. And this is Leslie Gurney Bishop, now 88, a journalist who documented Dr. Davidson's controversial treatment for cancer. He never claimed that it cured it, but he said it would arrest it. Davidson spent years studying cancer, writing medical articles on his theories, which in hindsight were remarkable for his time. The doctor described cancer as a dietary deficiency, so he added generous amounts of vitamins to the patient's diet. But he also said it was critical to boost the patient's own defenses against cancer. Davidson took fertilized hen's eggs just nine days old and produced a powdered extract, which was then injected into patients with various forms of terminal cancer. Like this boy, diagnosed with lymphatic cancer, Notes show that with surgery, vitamins, and the extract, he returned to normal health. Over the years, Dr. Davidson treated hundreds of cancer patients. 
they all said, the ones I interviewed, all said that it had benefited them tremendously. Some said they were cured. Ruth Burke's father was one of Davidson's more famous patients. Harry Leader, the member of parliament for Portage La Prairie, had been diagnosed with terminal bowel cancer by the Mayo Clinic in the U.S. But under Davidson's treatment, he improved. It was controversial scientifically, but that really didn't affect Dad. He, he believed in it. But Davidson's medical colleagues thought the treatment was useless and repeatedly refused him research money. It's as though they'd been instructed by somebody, well, just uh, tear him up, you know, just tear him up. And they did. Frustrated with the lack of support, Harry Leader, with his own good health as proof, took Davidson's pleas for funding straight to Ottawa in 1944, directly to Prime Minister Mackenzie King. He never wanted any publicity from this. He simply wanted help for this man whom he felt could help humanity. The Prime Minister refused to fund Davidson's work. The doctor died four years later. He would die uh, pretty well of a broken heart, if you know what I mean, because he had not been recognized. His cancer treatment thought to have died with him. But then six years ago, the treatment was rediscovered by a Toronto company. It hired researchers at Dalhousie University to test the theory. Could these embryonic chicken cells really be a cancer treatment? When research began, there was excitement. Davidson's extract in many ways could be a cancer vaccine. In three studies on mice, the compound apparently shrunk tumors. We have to be careful about raising people's hopes falsely. Jonathan Blay is one of the researchers looking at Dr. Davidson's extract. Davidson's extract in many ways could be a cancer vaccine. There could be things in the extract that promote a response against the cancer. But then suddenly the research stopped. The then owners of the extract had financial problems. They stopped paying the researchers. Dalhousie was out some $60,000 and halted the experiments. The university would be interested in continuing the work because the results were very promising. But for nearly five years now, the capsules have simply laid on the shelf. One could easily walk away from and say to heck with it. But would we be leaving behind something that could potentially have significant impact for large numbers of people. But if there are no takers soon, the venture will die. A darn shame, says Dr. Bain, because we still won't have the answer. Was Dr. Davidson right? But if Dr. Davidson's extract does show the power to combat cancer... This could be not only one of the great human victories in overcoming disease, but it could also be one of the great human tragedies. A tragedy because for the last 50 years, a possible cancer treatment and its pioneer were forgotten. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto. Well, thank you for sharing that, Dr. Tina. It just uh, speaks to what we're dealing with in today's, uh, you know, medical environment and our uh, conventional approach to things. You know, there's been a lot of things throughout history that have been very safe and used, and we really didn't know how they work. Think of aspirin. For, for decades, we took aspirin. It wasn't until the 70s we understood uh, how aspirin actually worked. We discovered prostaglandins and the inflammatory and anti-inflammatory dynamics that were triggered and how aspirin uh, dealt with that. And so we're just catching up to um, this pept peptide technology now. And, and when I say peptides, these are those signal molecules that Dr. Ralston, uh, you know, John Ralston Davidson uh, discovered. And then what Dr. Escalon further rediscovered himself on his own separate research. And what we um, have the great privilege to bring out to the world and really help explain uh, what's going on with um, this new, it's not new, but it's, um, you know, being rediscovered from the standpoint of what it can do. So Dr. Tina, this is, this is a great way to introduce uh, our technology and help people <laughs> understand we're so ahead of our time. We are. And that's why, you know, this particular ingredient, our fertilized tissue extract, 
is what Dr. Davidson was using. And then Dr. Escalon picked up uh, and didn't even know about Dr. Davidson and his research. Um, so Dr. Escalon was fascinated with the hen egg and these pre-embryonic signal molecules with this, this fertilized hen extract. And so he was using this as well. And he started to notice when he was doing his studies, when you start to look at, you know, bodies that are rejuvenation, rejuvenating like athletes, or you're seeing hormones coming back into balance. Uh, so many different things were happening that he was doing studies on that he couldn't even truly explain. But when we look at this metaphor here of our body, when we're young, we've got a great strong structure. As we age, we move into accelerated aging. And this is where all of the stressors of life happen. And when we start to reintroduce those signal molecules back into our body um, with our fertilized tissue extract, we start to rebuild the structure. And this is just such an awesome uh, view to give us to help you understand what really happens here with this fertilized tissue extract, along with the other five ingredients. But today we're going to really showcase the rejuvenation and talk about um, these signaling peptides. So here's Hannah. We love to show Hannah because she's such a great example of, you know, true rejuvenation from the inside out. And when we age and we have that signaling breakdown, we removed some of the letters from the words showing that there's a breakdown in our overall signaling when we age. And you can see uh, the difference from her photo on the left to the to her photo on the right. When we restore that signaling and we, we create those words uh, and they can be read again and they're they're all complete, you see that from the inside out, you can change. And uh, she, Hannah, in, engaged in the True Rejuvenation Program, again, age 67 during this picture, and she had depression, sleep issues. If you even look at her face, she just doesn't look happy on the left. But you look on the right and you can just see this glow and this more joy on her face even. So um, she has more energy, her knee pain's gone, her depression's lifted. And how does this happen? Dr. Chris, do you want to talk about this? I, I do. I want to just kind of explain is that um... You know, this formula or what Dr. Davidson brought out doesn't treat the cancer. It gives the body back its rejuvenative capabilities, its ability to signal again. And so essentially think of these um, peptides, these signal molecules as the words that are put together again to communicate in the body. And when, when I say communicate, we see things like uh, you know, mitochondrial dysfunction and decline, which is essentially the, the energy factories in our cells start to come back. We see cellular senescence. Uh, this is, these are the cells that are asleep because they've, they've aged and they're no longer functional. And uh, they just hang out in the body because the body doesn't have the strength or energy to remove them or the immune response. And they're a drag on the body. They actually create inflammation. And we're showing that our formula actually re helps clean out these, um, you know, sleeping cells. It activates the mitochondria again. You see stem cell decline with aging and with these new words of communication that we're forming with the teleyouth, we see the expression of new stem cells and the activation of those stem cells. So this is why you see things like arthritis and inflammation and chronic degenerative conditions, cardiovascular issues, abnormal tissue, all these things dissipate because again, we're, we're establishing the communication in the body through the original source of how it works, you know, through these signal molecules. It's so exciting. So when we see, when we talk directly about uh, the Norwegian egg, after one day when that hen egg is fertilized, it contains all of the letters of the alphabet that create the proper signaling and communication. Then we move into, we have all of those instructions there and it creates words or instructions to 
properly signal to create the heart, the liver, the lungs, the eyes. And this is after 10 days of incubation, these words start to build all of these systems and organs. The 11th day, we extract this non-species specific signal molecules or these peptides and they become the super rejuvenation ingredient, our fertilized tissue extract. And we dry it without high heat so that we do not denature those signaling molecules. Now, if we didn't extract the egg white within the 12, within 12 to 21 days, that egg white would infuse into that embryo and those signal molecules would then create life the baby chick within 21 days. So it's fascinating how this ingredient has so much of the signaling and the nutrient to be able to create this baby chick. You know, Dr. Tina, this is why we emphasize uh, it's you, your, your actual age is your biological age and not your chronological age. And what we're able to do with uh, consuming our just incredible tele youth is to actually reverse. And this is why we, we say we're the rejuvenation company. You're seeing the ability to actually create the signaling and communication that existed when we we're years younger and why that photo of Hannah is so special. So here's an individual in her 60s that was able to just turn back the clock from inside out and actually, uh, you know, show the regeneration that happens in all these organs and systems that we have at the top of the page here. So uh, she just not only had new skin that was vital and shiny and, you know, full of collagen underneath, but uh, that same thing was happening to her heart and her liver and her kidneys and her lungs. So this, this is the opportunity that we can give ourselves with uh, consuming these incredible signal proteins that are in our formula. Yeah. And, and this is why I'm going to go back. Oops. Sorry about that. I'm going to go back to this. This is when we start adding those signal molecules in from this, and you can see why the rebuilding happens. And so I'm hoping that this metaphor or these, the ways that we're sharing this, you can help we can help you to understand just how this happens. I mean, without going into obviously all of the uh, clinical and, and all of the, the technical information regarding it, but it's, it's just really fascinating and phenomenal. You have access to a formula, an ingredient, many ingredients that actually rebuild and rejuvenate the body. It's so exciting. You have no idea what you have in your hands. So um, we just get so extremely excited because we know we've been in this industry for a long, long time, and you have to get out there and share this with your family and friends. Well, uh, until this last decade, you know, Dr. Tina, we would always just focus on let's slow down this regenerate, this degeneration that's happening in the, in the middle slide. Let's, you know, slow down this breakdown and this teardown and not realizing that we could actually turn back on the repair and the regeneration that's happening in slide number three there. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. 